welcome to my channel so today we're going to be making a somewhat unusual video so guys today i'm gonna like show you guys how i frosted um 100 cupcakes actually 120 cupcakes in less than 20 minutes <laughs> and i'm also going to walk you through like this is like a vlog ish i'm going to walk you through what i do before valentine so usually i like to buy my cake boards and buy the um supplies i need the cake stuff and everything and every year i do this hand pass stuff where like I, pa I pack like gift packs for people to accompany the valentine cake so when you get a cake for me like you can also get gift packs and stuff so the day before what i did was i baked like 14 cakes and i made like four batches of buttercream so i wouldn't have to like make buttercream while i was working so to make my work easier and i didn't sleep overnight so like overnight i first had all the cakes i had like usually like when i have so much work like that Sometimes I'm really tired, but I don't feel tired until I'm done with what I have to do. <laughs> so overnight, I made sure I like frosted all the cakes I had. And this was on the 12th. So on the 12th of February, like I already like frosted the cakes I had to do. And apart from that, I had some birthday cakes that were not Valentine cakes for 13th or 14th. So I made sure I made them on the 12th so that like on 13th, I could bake the cupcakes. So I had like 120 pieces of cupcakes. So... I think I had like okay, I had like pretty complicated cakes. I had um 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 a Harry Potter cake as well as oh and it's so cute by the way. <laughs> I really loved it. As well as I had like a wristwatch money cake. I wasn't supposed to pull like a relax cake. I wasn't supposed to put any money on it, but like I felt like putting some money on it made it not look too um simple ish. But she liked it though. So apart from that, I had a safe cake, like a safe, a money safe cake that was supposed to send to Odessa. So I made all of that and then by 13th morning when I woke up, like I was ready to make my cupcakes and I was going to make 120 pieces of cupcakes. But I ended up making about, okay, I mixed my batches and I ended up making about um, 130 something. Anywho so and they were so nice i think i made about 74 pieces of red velvet and um 30 pieces of chocolate and the rest were vanilla cupcakes and the vanilla came out so nice like a baby's butt <laughs> okay anywho so like i couldn't really film this part well because like i didn't film everything because it would take too long but i made some donut to top the cupcakes with because usually i make donut top the cupcakes okay so i bought some stuff for my gift hampers and i was supposed to make um 18 hampers so i bought different kind of chocolates and cookies and stuff for them and wine as well and then but i couldn't get this was my last year hamper pack but i couldn't get this pack this year the guy that supplies me in the market didn't have them it had only two so what i did was i had to improvise so i bought this um this wooden ones from an online store but they had only eight so like i had to look for another way <laughs> to buy like plastic containers and this plastic containers the lady had only three <laughs> basically like i had to improvise so like i bought some baskets and the baskets really turned out like way nicer than i thought i bought some baskets and I had to do some crafting to customize them and like my baby helps me cats thank you <laughs> okay so Right now, I'm going to show you guys how I frosted these cupcakes. And I had like one, almost 140 pieces of them. And it couldn't like contain, my table couldn't contain them. So I kept some of them by the windowsill. And then I started frosting with buttercream. And I used a 1M tip. And like, it took me, it, it took me way shorter than I thought it would. And I was really impressed with myself because it took me less than 30 minutes to frost like 120 cupcakes. It was so cool. And then like cats already made the boxes for me from the day before so like all i had to do was frost them and top them with um some donuts and then white chocolate and some um valentine sprinkles and then i kept them in the boxes and i had to decorate the boxes anywho so while i usually when i do this every year valentine's day is one of the days of the year where like as a cake maker you can really make some money if you plan your time well and if we plan deliveries well. 
so this year what i did was okay i started my advert on the 14th of january exactly a month before because so, i wanted to give people time to plan ahead and make orders and make inquiries and stuff and i wanted to give myself the time to like get my shit together and like really plan it well so i could make maximum profit okay so as for nigerians now you know what we do like we don't like to order stuff until <laughs> it is really late okay so i had some clients that spoke to me about like maybe a cake or the gift hampers some people spent like weeks talking to me about gift hampers and cake and okay what color will it be what um how many things will be inside what kind of thing will be inside how many flavors are there like when you use three weeks to make um inquiries then i don't know i don't know anywho like at a point okay i had this i had several people actually that like we talked about like a cake the hamper where to be delivered to but the thing is i'm a business person if you haven't paid for something we are just having a conversation we could discuss it for the next seven years if you haven't paid you haven't made reservations i'm sorry if that sounds mean but imagine like i'm open on okay this person has been talking to me so like in my mind this person will definitely order and then when maybe it's time and like then i feel like i'm fully booked and then the person says oh i'm sorry i changed my mind but the thing is you can't really change your mind if you've paid so that's why i stick to if you haven't paid you haven't made an order i'm sorry it's just i don't know i'm trying to run a business and usually my problem is that i'm usually too soft there are people i make exceptions for of course if you're my customer for a long time there are people i definitely make ex exceptions for but like the rules should be the rules if you haven't paid you haven't made an order i'm sorry if i hurt your feelings and you felt like you spoke to me for so long and like i said when you needed a cake when you wanted to pay and then i said i was fully booked i really am sorry it wasn't intentional and i wasn't trying to be proud or to be it's just me i don't like it's a one woman business there's a limit to how much i can do i hope you guys understand and you don't like count it against me <laughs> thank you guys thank you Arka. thank you keith thank you odessa thank you ivan of france Kiev. Thank you guys for always ordering from me because you guys keep me in business and I do not take that for granted. Anywho, so these cupcakes by the windows, some of them were misshapen because I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't put them in the cupcake pan because those ones were filled and I wanted to pick them all at once. So I didn't like send those ones out. I think those ones are still in my kitchen right now. I need to give them out to someone. I don't know. I have my housemate to eat them. Whatever anywho so when i was done with these cupcakes i arranged them in the boxes i had 10 boxes for because each box was going to contain 12 cupcakes so i arranged them in the boxes and had to like decorate the boxes and usually when i decorate my boxes i use a glue gun and um ribbons for valentine i like to use red and white ribbons because they're really pretty and very catchy so i used ribbons i made a bow and then i used the glue gun to stick the whatever and then i have stickers for it and i made about 10 of them and they were so pretty and the amazing part is like i get really nice reviews with this um thing every year every year it's exhausting it's a lot of work because i work alone but it was amazing and i had some help this week this time because cats my family friend helped me i'm so lucky okay guys thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this i don't know if it's it's not a tutorial it's kind of like a vlog <laughs> thank you guys and if you ordered from me even if it's not this valentine time if it's some other time or you plan to order from me i am very grateful and i do not take your patronage for granted thank you guys so much thank you so 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 much and please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and like this video thank you and i'll see you in my next video ciao